Speaking of mail, <laughs> speaking of mail, every year billions of Christmas cards are sent out all across the world. And while visiting the Hallmark headquarters in Kansas City, Ken and Paige learn so much about how beautiful sentiments, those sentiments inside those cards are written. Here she comes. <laughs> the first that was you guys. I mean, are you kidding me right now? That really was a big surprise. I was like, why are they so close to my face with a camera? I said to the director, Rob, back off my face. They were like this to me. I want to see me cry. I know what you did there. Back, back to what I was saying, though, because I was talking about all these beautiful cards that uh, Ken and Paige had a chance to, to see really the, the, the what's written inside of so them. So beautiful. And the sentiments that are there. And um, they have a wonderful DIY, by the way, today that's going to how you can display some of these fantastic cards. But hi, guys. Hi. hi. <laughs> hi. Um, the, the trip that you guys went on, again, mm -hmm. jealous. Uh, <laughs> second of all, sorry. I'm excited to see and hear more about this experience that you had. It well, was amazing. It, it was amazing, <laughs> and especially this part. We're going to talk about the actual greeting cards, and mm -hmm. I don't think people really realize Hallmark designs over 2,000 Christmas cards every year. 1,600 wow. individuals and 325 box sets. So the amount of creativity and energy that goes into that is just mind-boggling. And then when you think, when you go and you're just like, oh, well, I need a card that kind of says you have this feeling inside, and you always like, it's just there. and there yes. it is. Yeah. It's yeah. because yeah. each card is actually written by real people. Mm -hmm. They're writing yeah. their own life experiences into these cards. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. It was, it was amazing. For me, it was a little bit of a dream come true. Really? Oh, no, wait. Oh. This is crazy. I, <laughs> so in third grade, I did a bucket list. It wasn't called that then. We didn't have that term back in <laughs> 1980 or <laughs> 19. 99. But we did a life list. It was this bucket list. And on it, um, the first thing I wanted to pet That's big it? kitties. The second thing I wanted to buy my mom a car. The third thing is I want to write cards for Hallmark. No. Yes. Way. It says a whole, whole greeting, greeting card, card line. Wow. So I'm still waiting for that half. But the first part came true, you that guys. Just gave me chill. I we got to sit down and write with them and um, I don't want to give away too much, but I think Ken and I are pretty good. Some better but, than others. Some better than others. <laughs> but it, just the process was so amazing. And if you think back to the history, well, the first card ever done, the first Christmas card ever sent was in 1843. This was not by Hallmark, but Hallmark the caught on. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like beautiful. Wow. Wow. I know. Interesting. In it, 1843, You could stand the, the test card. of time. You could send it now. I know. Um, but Hallmark created their first Christmas cards in 1915. And we got to sit down with the writers and see how it's done. How? Take wow. a look. What's that? Ooh, I gotta see. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome. Thank um, you. We're very excited to have you here, but we're gonna put you to work. Oh. All right. All right. And I'm gonna show you a photo. These are all Christmas photos. So these okay. are photos that will actually be cards one day. They could be. Depends on you. Oh. oh. Pressure. No pressure though. Oh. No pressure. No pressure. Wow. All right. so I'll give you about a minute or so, and I want you to write one idea on each little card, as many as you can. So I'm gonna collect all the ideas and read them out loud. I'm really nervous. I'm yes. Really let's go. Really nervous. How come you guys aren't nervous? Crippling anxiety is part of the creative process. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Here's our first photo. Oh, this is impossible! <laughs> Okay, sitting on the couch equals naughty list. You, nice list all the way. Oh, oh that for sure I came like from one that. of them. That's really cute. <laughs> I'm not fat, just husky. Oh. <laughs> that was real. Oh. Okay, Bark the Herald Angels Sing. Oh, get out. Oh, they're so good. Do you hear what I hear? It's sirens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I just point out, I was trying to get through one and you all have written multiple entries here, is that correct? I wrote three. <laughs> you just said Are you kidding me? <laughs> Go on. Doggies and presents and throw pillows. Yeah, that was mine. <laughs> what did you say? Get, get, it out. get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, get it out. This is solid. Meowy Christmas. P.S. I ate the cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, which ones of these would you think? Oh, gosh. Meowy Christmas Meowie is Christmas. pretty fun. I ate the cat. I ate the cat. Oh, um, well, I don't know who could have possibly written that one. Are you kidding me? That was yours? <laughs> was it really? Yeah, yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Do you ever walk by and see someone reading your card, or you see it on the shelf, and you know that you're affecting lives? Ooh. What does that feel like? 
When we get out and meet people that love our cards and read them, it's, it's so weird to me, surreal, that, that, we, that we help people say stuff. I almost right. like can't think about it because it's such a, it's just so important to me. I forget that there are people that right. are sitting that have real lives and joys and sorrows that are mm -hmm. writing these cards. And that's, I guess, why they're so poignant and perfect because you all are putting your lives your on heart. the cards and you're relating mm -hmm. to other people out there, so. I thank you all for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How good is she? Like, and the fact is on your bucket list, and obviously that's your calling. You're very good I know. at it. You actually I, have a future in this. I, Why are you putting on protective eyewear? Because I'm about to drill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to get things done. I'm going to show you guys how to make this. But, but you okay. seriously maybe could do your whole un, your own line. That was impressive. Hallmark, if you're watching, if, <laughs> I know you're watching. Um, okay, let's get Can that done. You not but so much. So much. Yeah. I'll stick to DIY. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know all right, straight. but you have but come we do up have with a, a very yes. clever and elegant way to display all of those I, beautiful I would love to cards. say we came up with it, but it came from the Think Make Share blog. Oh, all right. Yes. <laughs> so um, these are Gilded Deer card holders. They're so cute. Don't they look like they're very expensive? They look made of metal? super expensive and super rich. And I love the fact oh. that you can, because you get those cards that are really special and you want to sort of highlight them. This yeah. is a great way to do that. Yes. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is grab your drill. There you know is. I love okay. a power tool. Um, and they say get a family of deer. I just ordered um, different little deer Ooh, on the internet. Sure. And so the first thing you want to do, now you remember, and they say in their blog, you are not hurting real deer here. Um, you are <laughs> drilling a hole. Whoopsie. Can I get well, you to hold that? You just oh, oh that you one. skip and now you ask yep, me to hold it? Thank yeah. you. You put a hole in the back. Rem oh, dear. Uh, oh, I dear. Get oh, dear. I get it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. oh moose. Oh, goodness. There we go. There we go. There we go. There and we notice go. how Paige has that blue tape. So that yeah. stops her so she knows exactly how far to it's drill. to go. Exactly. It also curls it like the Hallmark curling ribbon. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Okay, so once you have a little hole started in there, this is an eighth inch bit, drill bit. Mm -hmm. Then Ken's going to take over. Are you going to do a little drop of glue? Hot glue is the way to go? Or you E6, can use, you can use E6000 super glue. Sure. Uh, wood glue might go. take some time. There you go. Okay. Right. So once they're in, then you kind of decide how high you want the cards. Um, you could stagger oh, them, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, but they yes. could get top heavy though too, right? Right. You, yeah, we're, not we're, really. We're going to solve the top yes. heavy issue Problem, in a second. Okay. Yeah. I'll give these to oh, you. Oh, great. So let's say you pick here. Yep. Look at there. Clip that off. Super Good. easy. Um, and then these are little alligator clips that you can find in um, in uh, office stores or online. <laughs> then you just put a little glue on that and put it on top of the, you can use a skewer. These are technically eighth inch dowels, but you can yeah. use a, a kitchen skewer as well. This. Right, sure. you just yep. wanna make sure that the clip opening, your drill bit, and the dowel are all the same, same got, dimension. Oh yeah, all uniform. Yes. And then magically, through with a can of spray paint, they become metal. The yes. God, Would you paint so it all at too. once then, or do you paint individually, or how do you? Once, once you get it together, you paint it, then, and we right. started with a primer. Oh, that's um, right. Yes, because we gave a full coat, so they turned white first, and then we used the, the gold, um, and it really gives that that metal look. And what Ken is doing oh, now is adding to the little hooves. And a reason why you do need the primer, because different plastics are different. Some will react adversely to spray paint, and it'll oh. dry, it'll bubble. Sure. So you really need the primer. So you could do um, silver, too. So you yeah. could have yes. silver and gold, silver, silver and gold. Woo, wow. baby! Yeah. All right. Okay. So the top-heavy no, comment. They us to write me Christmas no. cards. No. Hot gluing them to these little wood coasters. Yeah. Keeps them from being top heavy, Mark. So exactly. that, that's that's all. The top heavy and the coasters also at a craft store. Craft store, yep. yeah. yeah. You could get creative with those bases too, but I like these a lot. I think you know? it's like it sort of ties. What? That's yeah. Yeah. Really so easy, yeah. and it is easy. so elegant. Like this looks expensive. Elegante. It does look expensive. It looks expensive. Yes. It's but not. It's fabulous and frugal. There you go. There you go. <laughs> For holiday cards, head to your local Gold Crown store, and you can get details on this cute card display by visiting thinkmakeshareblog.com. Good stuff, guys. That's I right. like it. You Thank did get the glue gun in there this time. Yes, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to no tie to our there. base here.